hey guys so today i'm going to be filming a video about my ysl card holder not versus and also going to be doing a review on my louis vuitton rosalie coin purse card holder so i thought i would initially come on here and do a one year um wear and tear on my ysl card holder because i've had this for a year because i remember i got it for my birthday well i bought it for myself for my birthday last year and um yeah so i thought i would come here and tell you guys what i think of this and whether i think it's worth the money so if you guys want to see what i think about this ysl card holder and whether i think it's worth the money then please continue to check out my video and also subscribe if you're here and um, yeah so i thought i would do this review and just let you guys know what i truly think about this card holder because a year is a good amount of time to work out whether you think something's worth it and obviously mine is the black cat black card holder with silver hardware i love the chevron pattern and i think this retail when i bought it, it was 140 pounds something like that so you know not cheap obviously not but of um, when it comes to luxury items um this is you know it's quite inexpensive uh yes yeah, so i've had mine for a year i got mine from harvey nicks and yeah but you can get it from the YSL website and i've seen these in the most beautiful combinations i love the beige color with the gold hardware if i was going to get one i'd probably get that one or i'd get the red one with gold hardware i think they look stunning um but anyway so i'm going to tell you guys what i think about this so um in terms of wear and tear um the fact that it has like pebbled i don't know if you can see that it's slightly pebbled so um it doesn't so it doesn't show scratches and um just gonna quickly let you guys know that i am not careful i don't baby my um items um because then if i have to baby them i have to watch out for them then it just it's for me it kind of ruins the fun of having an item like if i have to baby and watch it all the time i just i can't enjoy it as much so i don't baby this item so maybe if you baby yours yours might be in better condition but anyway, mine doesn't have any scratches at all. Um, like the hardware, very minimal scratches. Um, yeah, I really can't see any. Can you see that? So the hardware has quite minimal scratches on that. I don't know if you guys can actually fully see that. Um, and um, over time, the leather has stretched out quite a bit. Like in here, um, I used to be only able to fit like one. I can fit a couple in there. And in the top one as well, it has stretched out quite a lot. So now I can fit um, a couple of cards in there. In the back, it's also stretched out quite a bit. And if I'm being completely honest, um, I only ever fit um i only ever put um one card per slot i don't overstuff them because i don't like the way they look when they're bulky so i only ever put like one or two cards and obviously the middle has stretched out the most i remember when i first got this i literally could not pull cards out there and over time it has stretched out really nicely um however um even if i put like one card in there my cards don't fall out so i'll just show you guys I just put a random card in there so i just put it in there and my card does not fall out even though it stretches out a lot um other than that the only place that i think like i have no threads which are coming out or have loosened the only place which has shown quite a bit of wear i'm going to zoom in and try to show you guys what i mean um like the top here um and on the other side the i don't know what you call it it's like glazing it has kind of worn a little bit so well it's worn quite a bit and it doesn't look great when you look um at the card holder really close up but um from afar honestly i've never even noticed it but i'll try to show you guys what i mean i don't know if the camera's really going to pick it up but um I don't know like can you see a little bit of wear along here 
Um, in real life, you can see a lot more visible, but I don't know if you guys can be able to see it through the camera. But um, so I've got wear along here, and I have similar wear on the back, where it just looks like the glazing is kind of just starting chip not chipping off but kind of coming off a little bit um you you guys really won't be able to see it but there it's quite visible and yeah just along here but that is as much wear as i have got on this card holder as i've said um as i've said i am not careful with mine i don't baby it um i probably should um you know after uh noticing that but i don't think the kind of wear and tear that i've seen on this it's you can't see it from here you can't really even see it from here you can only see it when you get really close up and even with that um i still think that this looks really nice it hasn't you know it's not bendy it's not misshapen it's not it's still you know it's still, in my opinion, still in really good shape. And I would definitely recommend this product. I definitely think it is such a good item. I used to have, like, a big purse. And now when I pop to the shop, I have all my cards in my card holder. And, um, and, um, I just use this. I just pop it in my jean pocket or, like, a back pocket or in my coat pocket. And I just rush out the door. It just saves some space. And I have handbags, which are really, really small, which require me to have, like, a small little um, case like this. And this just works perfectly for that. Um, other than the hat, other than the um, wear and tear at the top here, um, there really isn't any other issues that I've had with this card holder. Now on to the Rosalie card holder. Um, so I got this how many months? Um, like a month, two months ago, just under two months ago for my 18th birth for my 18th. <laughs> I wish I was 18. Um, for my 21st birthday um, for my boyfriend. So it's a really nice present from him. Um, I really wanted a coin purse because that's an issue when you have a card holder you have nowhere to put coins. To be fair I never carry around coins that often but when I do I used to use this little pink zippy kit, um, zippy little case thing and it was a bit childish so I thought um, he was asking me what I wanted for my 21st I said I asked for this and I'd watched a few reviews on this but actually there wasn't really that much out there um so yeah i'm gonna do a quick kind of two month review on this um on this coin purse kind of just tell you the functionalities of it so it's just a cut a coin purse like so to open it you um open it like this mine says 21 here because um i didn't want my initials on there just because um well they could change in the future you know um yes yeah, so i thought i'd get 21 it reminds me of my 21st birthday so i've completely emptied it out i'll show you guys what i mean so can you see there's a card an area you can put your cards there an area you can put your cards in the back um a zippy area there and then on the other side there's also another card area there so in terms of use uh, of its functionality this is a very functional slg because there's loads of areas where you can put um you can put your items and i like the fact that it's quite compact so you know compared to the card holder it is you know not much thicker it's quite compact um you can easily just pop it in a cup pocket or you can put it in your jeans or you know what i mean like it's very easy to carry around that's one thing that i um that's really important to me i don't like having items which are too bulky so this works really well for that um so it has like a designated coin area but in fact i don't tend to use that section there for coins just because i find that when you put coins in there I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to put a pound coin in there. When you put coins in there, it can... And if you've got a lot of coins especially. So as you can see, it's got a designated coin area there. But I find that actually, if you put, if you start putting coins in there, um, it can bulk out. And when it bulks out, it becomes quite hard to close um, the, um, the coin purse. So I tend to put my coins in it here in the middle section what i'll do is um is i'll put my any 
cards that I have in these areas here, those three areas, or any that I use on a regular basis, I'll just put them in there. And I tend to also put my coins in there just because it prevents, um, um, I find that if I put it in there, it's um, it's not too hard for me to cl to close my um, coin purse. Um, so I don't really tend to use this area for coins. If you were to use it for coins, I would say um, I wouldn't put too, ma too many coins in that section just because it can make the um, coin purse quite bulky and then it might start misshaping the coins. Um, the coin purse um another thing is that um if you have a lot of cards and you decide to put it in the back area there i don't know if you guys can see but um it starts to bulk i don't know how to i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but can you kind of see the outline of the card? So I would also recommend that if you buy this, do not put a lot of cards in the back compartment. Just because if you put too many in there, it will start bulking and then it could misshape the um, back of the of the coin purse. Um, I haven't experienced any issues with um, coin residue as of yet, but yeah, um, that is the reason why I went for the dark pink instead of the baby pink, because it just come in the baby pink. Um, but I didn't go for that just because um, I didn't want it to get discolored really quickly. The baby pink is gorgeous, but I just like I just felt like I like I said before I don't like to baby my SLGs or any material goods i don't like to baby them because i feel like they're meant to be used um i'm supposed to use it for the functions that it's supposed to have um i don't like to baby stuff so i picked the dark one just because i thought it was less likely to show coin residue um so next i would also i've not had any issues with glazing anywhere and tear on the glazing um mine is pretty much perfect and I would expect that from having it just for two months. Um, the next thing I would say is that this little tassel here, although it's very functional, it can be quite annoying because um, if you don't place it properly, if you don't place it like inside, what I tend to do is I place it inside my um, coin purse. If you kind of leave it out and you have other things in your bag, this can get misshapen very easily. I've picked up my card, um, my coin purse i picked up this coin purse a few times and I've been like, what on earth has happened to this? And it can just like kink out a little bit. As you can see, mine, you know, has gone back to its normal shape. So if you put it back in there and you lay it flat, it will return back to its original shape, which is just straight. But that is definitely one thing I would say you should be aware of. I would say that the final thing that I want to discuss is this button. Now... I, I I love the way that it looks. I think it looks gorgeous. But I think if anywhere on this coin purse, the area that I feel like it's going to show the most wear and tear is going to be this button. Just because um, I can see a little bit of a dark circle in the centre. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's wearing off. But that is the only thing that I feel has really annoyed me so far. Just because I've only had it for two months and I can just see like a, a dark ring in the center of the coin um of the button so i should i'll try and show you guys what i mean so i don't know if you guys can see that there's like a slight ring in the middle of the button so what i might do is i may take it back to, to the louis vuitton store and see what they say about that i see a few people putting nail varnish on that i think i might do that clear nail varnish just to protect the button, um, I've also seen people who've got this in the baby pink. Um, it tends to be more visible on the baby pink. So, personally, I would say um, your better option is getting this one. Unless you really, really want the baby pink one. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, I am really pleased with this. I would say, um, although it's a coin purse, I use it more of, like, a loyalty card purse. You know, any cards i don't want to put in here i'll just put in um this one i don't tend to put too many coins in that i'll carry notes in that easily but i won't carry too many coins because i don't like the way that it looks when it's bulky um 
and just I don't want it to be misshapen um I don't want a baby but I don't also want to intentionally ruin it do you know what I mean so yeah um I do really like this um, coin purse um and I might do a one year wear and tear once I've had this for a year and really show you guys what I think about this this is like my first ever Louis Vuitton um item so um i'm not too familiar with the brand but um yeah so i really enjoy this and i would highly recommend both of them to be fair i would really um you know so far both of them have been really good especially the card holder just because i've had it for longer but the coin the coin purse slash loyalty card purse um you know it's i really really enjoyed using it as well so yeah um if you guys have got any questions about any of these items, please leave them in the comments and I will try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you in my next one. Please subscribe. Bye.